Hi, this is Vicki Gopher Parnell, and I have come to share a word from the Lord I received today. Today is 11 21 24, and this word came at 1 13 p.m. I ask you to take it to Jesus Christ in prayer. Try it, test it, discern it, line it up with the Word of God. Lay it before Him and ask Him for the truth. That's what I did when I received this word. This word came very forceful, meaning I was praying, but then it was a very strong word. It was almost as strong as when a dire warning for America, which was, I think, back in 20, 2020, which that word left me crying for days. But it was that powerful. But you take it to Jesus Christ and pray. We're going to try this, test it, pray it, pray about it in Jesus Christ's name. Now, Holy Spirit, right now, in Jesus Christ's name, don't let me speak a word. That's not from Father God, Jesus Christ, or you, Holy Spirit. I pray and ask in Jesus Christ's name, you lead and guide me. I submit to you. I yield to your leadership. I want no fame. I want no credit. I want no glory. But you have given me a strong word that I need to get out. And I ask that you would rise up in me, sweet Holy Spirit, sweet Holy Ghost Spirit. And that you would take over and I will just yield to you. Lord, I bind every spirit of the kingdom of darkness that's been sent against me. This family, this ministry, our vehicles, the finance, anything pertaining to us directly, indirectly, or randomly in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I decree and declare standing on Job 22, 28, there will be absolutely no retaliation, backlash, interference, or spying from the kingdom of darkness or any such like. In the name of Jesus Christ that you have understanding of, Father, you have you have knowledge of, and in all your existence, I break off everything that would be sent out or has been sent out against the videos, the PDFs, the sites, Lord, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. And I also, Father God, dedicate them all to you and plead your blood upon them and upon everything that I have to touch or do, directly, indirectly, or randomly. Father God, I give you praise in all things. Jesus Christ, this is your ministry, but you've placed it in my hands. And now with my son's hands too. So I'm asking you lead us and you guide us the direction you want this to take. If this ministry is from you, if I'm standing here in the power and the authority of Jesus Christ who is my Lord, then there is nobody or anything that can tear this ministry down. But if I'm not, then Father God, I ask in Jesus Christ's name, you tear it down already. Because I don't want to waste anybody else's time or my own. I want to seek you. I want your will first and foremost in my life. Now every plot, gin, snare, device, scheme, arrow, gizmo, gadget, trap, trigger, booby trap, all witchcraft, all physical attacks that you have knowledge of, Father God, in all your existence and all your understanding, I cancel. I reverse standing on Proverbs 26.2. I break I nullify all effects, again, sending everything back according to your will. I disable what we can in Jesus Christ's name, meaning, Lord, if there's something that can be taken out of their weapons, gizmo, gadgets, might be needed for end time, that can be disabled at this point, please do it in Jesus Christ's name, but according to your will. Father God, anything that can be taken out, any satellites, any drones, any balloons, any stations, any underground facilities, underwater facilities, anything in the kingdom of darkness that we can take out. In prior beforehand, I ask that the hunters and fishers of the Lord would go with their lightning bolts and arrows of the Lord with the bows of steel all written in your word, enhanced with fire of God, enhanced with poison, enhanced with lightning or whatever you need. In Jesus Christ's name, Father God, you know, you know what's in your word. And that's what I'm asking, what's in the word of God, because it will stand forever. And it is Jesus Christ, and I send it out in Jesus Christ's name, wherever you want to send it, Lord. Through the internet, through the AI, Lord, we send out, I send out in the name of Jesus Christ, holy algorithms. I send out viruses into all the enemy systems with holy algorithms, puzzles that cannot be solved into every system and AI such like not every system is controlled by the AI 
all enemy systems, Lord. In Jesus Christ's name, or that it are being used against me, my family, this ministry, that I can because I know some are not attacking this ministry. So where applicable, Father God, where applicable, release that algorithm and let it be in an infinity loop in Jesus Christ's name with no retaliation upon my systems, my computer, because I'm standing under the hedge of protection of Job 1.10. The same protection that Satan declared, we can't touch you. We can't touch Job. We can't touch his belongings. Lord, Father, God, what a revelation when you showed me that. Thank you for the blood of Jesus that covers us, a hedge of thorns written about in the Bible. Thank you for your warring angels, your angels of God that stand and protect us like flaming, fiery ministers. Thank you, God. Jesus Christ, you're unbeatable, unstoppable. <laughs> the battles are unnegotiable. You're the winner. We've read the back of the book. And Lord, I amend everything that I pray to include my true brothers and sisters in Jesus Christ and those that will come. Anything we can take out now for our battles and then for those left behind, Father God, please do it. In Jesus Christ's name, and I bind the spirit of witchcraft. The spirit of manipulation and control is the spirit of witchcraft. And the perverse spirit that's trying to go through and trying to deceive my brothers and sisters in Jesus Christ. Even trying to deceive me, Lord, Father, God. I thank you for John 10, which says, The sheep know my voice, and another they will not follow. And when you had me study that, you keep bringing that back to me. The sheep, I studied the sheep. I was studying how... You were a good shepherd. A good shepherd, what a good shepherd does. And the sheep, you can honk your horn at them. You can yell. You can scream. They will ignore you. But when that shepherd speaks, they listen and they run. Right after that shepherd. Hallelujah. I want to be a sheep, Lord. And in the name of Jesus, I bind all mimicry. I bind all deceptions and lines and such like things of the kingdom of darkness. He's trying to construct against me, my family, this ministry, brothers and sisters in Jesus Christ, such like, directly, indirectly, or randomly, standing on 2 Corinthians 10, 4, for the weapons of our warfare are not carnal, but mighty through God to the pulling down of strongholds. And I command them not to be re-erected in Jesus Christ's name. Lord, fortify us with your blood. Fortify us, Lord Jesus Christ. Fortify us with your blood. Nothing hit through the armor of God. The blood of Jesus Christ. That hedge of protection. It really can't. Lord, I give you praise for that divine revelation. Holy Spirit, sweet, sweet friend. Is there anything else I need to pray? Open the eyes of my brothers and sisters in Jesus Christ and those to come to the truth of Jesus Christ and his warnings and what he's saying. Father God, open the ears to hear and discern, discern knowing what's right and almost right. Help your children to discern through the false delusion, the delusions, illusions, and deception in Jesus Christ's name. You are the truth. Jesus Christ, you said in John, in John 14, 6, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man coming to the Father but by me. You are the light, so let us focus our eyes on you, the light, the truth, and we will not be deceived. It says, if it were possible, meaning it's not possible for the very elect to be deceived, which means even if sometime during your walk you get off track, but you're truly a child of God and you're seeking the Lord, He's going to ensure you get on track. How that you are not, you do not come, become fully deceived. What a Savior, Lord, I give you praise in Jesus Christ's name. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Again, this word came forth, 11, 21, 24, 1, 13 p.m. It is entitled, Take Cover in Me, Your God. Hold on just a moment. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. All right, again, take this to Jesus Christ in prayer. 
I've been getting a lot of strong words. Uh, Lord's been taking me. I dreamed again about three moons still darkness. Yeah, that has not happened yet. And it is right lining up with the Word of God. For those of you that didn't take time to seek it out, that's between you and the Lord. Take cover. Take cover. Take cover. It's unleashed now. Take cover, my people. Take cover. Run to my wings. Run to my wings. Lock the door. Hide in your homes for my anger. My anger. My anger is to be displayed in the form of a man-made weapon. Watch them run in fear to start grabbing this and start grabbing that. What will this do in protecting you? What will that do when you should be running to me? Falling on your knees and begging your holy God to forgive you of your evil, wicked ways. Take cover, my children. Take cover. Take cover in me. Hide in me. Take cover. The nuclear war begins now. Someone has to be first in this time of war upon your land, your world. It starts with Vladimir Putin. And as I have said, once the first nuclear weapon is dropped, then everything is unleashed. Everything is unleashed. Repent and repent now. Get the sin out of your lives. Some you have to save by fire. This is what it means in the natural as well as the spiritual. Each opponent is playing their part to the T. The hatred is real between these, but they still do what the Council of Thirteen and the Hidden Society tells them. And they can only do what I allow because I own this earth. I created this earth and all that's in it. He's talking about each opponent. Zelensky, Putin, America, all the parties, Macron, all these things. And they can only do what I allow because I own this earth. I created this earth and all that's in it. And Lucifer has to come to me for permission. Satan has to come to me and ask of me, petition me for some wrong my child has done for permission. And I will grant this at times because when he brings up the legalities, yes, you sinned. You did not repent. You were given time to repent. Or as like with my servant Job, who was righteous. I apologize. If you hear my family, they're, 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 they're cutting up. I'm sorry. Or as like with my servant Job, who was righteous in the eyes of all. He was righteous. But I purged him and I tested him. I tried him like no other so that he was found perfect in my eyes because I loved him. I'm going to stop right there because the Lord talked to me about what he meant by perfect. Perfect in his worship of him. I'm going to try and test that in Jesus Christ's name. So that he was found perfect in my eyes because I loved him. Hear me now. It's time to take cover. It's time to hide. It's your Isaiah 26, 20 through 21 manifesting on your world now. Be ready. Be ready, children. My son's coming for those that are his. Daughter, be prepared to go further into hiding. I meant to take that out, but that's personal to me. Putin waits patiently for the right moment. He is not cowering in fear. He knows he has a council of 13's power behind him. Take cover. Take cover, my children. Take cover in me. Take cover in me, your God. Take cover under my wings. Hide under the shadow of my wings. And I will endorse, excuse me, and I will enclose them around you and hold you safe. Those that are not called to go at this time. Take cover. 
It is time for nuclear war upon this world. Devastation. Destruction. Desolation. Calamity. Chaos. Pestilences. Plagues. Drought. Death upon death on an ungodly and unfaithful world. I have called you to repent. I have called you to repent. And you scoffed and you laughed and you shook your hands at me up into the sky and to my face. You continued your abominable acts, your murdering of your children, the stealing from the poor, the killing of my children, the embracing of Lucifer and Satan, the embracing of Antichrist, the fallen ones, the aliens. I'm giving you exactly what you desire, O world. Those who deserve alien, excuse me, those who desire aliens, those who desire freedom from me, the righteous God, those who desire to be their own little gods, those who look for any excuse, any way to disprove, I sit in the heavens ruling and reigning. I give you the man of sin, and I give you the three days of darkness, and I give you nuclear war. The season, the time is now. All hell, all of the kingdom of darkness, except for those few remaining bound, shall be unleashed in the darkness. Before the time of the red eyes to be worshipped, he will have already been moved into place, ready to step out. You will worship these aliens as gods. They're demons. They're, de excuse me, they're fallen angels and they're Nephilim. I'm turning you over to reprobate minds, many of you. So you will believe the delusion. You will take that mark because you have rejected me. You have rejected my Holy Spirit. Excuse me. You have rejected my son. And you have rejected my Holy Spirit. Grieving him. Grieving me. Grieving my son. After time. And time. And time. And time. And time. And time. And time. I reached out to you. I reached out through people. I reached out through medias. I reached out through flyers. I reached out through the whole world, your internet, every way possible. I reached out in your dreams. I spoke to your subconsciousness and you have still refused to repent. My children, and I am referring to those who have accepted my son, Jesus Christ, into their hearts as Lord. Take cover. Whew. Hide in me. Nuclear war starts now upon your world. So please take this to Jesus Christ in prayer. That's how he ended it. And again, even when Father God gives a word, it's through praying and going through Jesus Christ. You have to go through Jesus Christ to enter into the Holy of Holies. Here are the verses. James 5, 1-11. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, I bind any hindrances. Zechariah 14, 12, 15. So Zechariah 14, 12, verse 15. Romans 2, 1 through 11, Isaiah 26, 20 through 21, 2 Thessalonians 2, 11 through 12, Isaiah 66, 4, Jude 23, there's only one chapter in Jude, Psalms 91, 1 through 6, 103, 17, Isaiah 46, 9 through 10, 54, 5, Psalms 67, 7, 1 Chronicles 29, 11 through 12, Revelation 13, 6, Job 1, 6 through 12, 2, 1 through 8, 42, 10 through 15, and Romans 1, 28. 
Now I ask you to take this to Jesus Christ in prayer. I apologize for my family. I, I know you, you most likely heard them. Excuse me. Thank you, Jesus Christ. I apologize for the interruption. I don't apologize for my family being here. I love having my grandkids visit. All right, with this being said, I do need to speak for just a moment on something that the Lord Jesus Christ has been talking to me. That, I, How do you want me to start this, Holy Spirit? In the name of Jesus Christ. Lord, clear this up and help me to make this clear. Guide my every word, Holy Spirit, in Jesus Christ's name. All right, this is a... Okay. Uh, okay. Okay, Lord. In Jesus Christ's name, follow his lead. Which I need to do anyways. I have been praying and the Lord Jesus Christ brought this up to my attention. In my Christian walk, my background is Pentecostal. I was in the church. I cast out demons and did all that things. What I have experienced, and I'm going to speak a little bit about demons. What I have experienced is when you're full of the Holy Ghost and you're a threat to the enemy, they manifest at times. They'll either try to leave and get away if they realize you have the power and the knowledge and the understanding and the faith to cast them out without wavering. They're going to try to leave, get out of that room. Or most times they'll manifest in some ways. And I'm going to give you an example in the Bible where this is true. I have been in the middle of what we call Holy Ghost meetings where the Holy Spirit is ministering. People are weeping and crying. People are getting baptized or filled with the Holy Spirit, speaking in tongues. That's the kind of service that I came out. People are being prayed for and receiving the Holy Ghost where they speak in tongues in the Holy Ghost tongues. Let me specify because the kingdom of darkness has their own setup. They call the tongue. This is the Holy Ghost tongues. This is the but I call the prayer language of the Holy Spirit that prays to you. That That is a lot of what I grew up in. When I was in the church I grew up in, I was one of the song leaders. We had like a praise team. I have been growled at by demons and people. But at that time, I did not know if I should step out and cast the demon out. I didn't have the boldness I did, and I was under authority of the pastor. I had been going, I can walk through Walmart. Now, this still happens. I can walk through Walmart. People either clear out when I walk through, or the, I'll get growled at. I'll get growled at. What does that mean? It's the Holy Spirit inside us that we, that we, operate in I do in the name of Jesus Christ and in the power of Jesus Christ cast out demons we're called to do that I have done that since the Lord moved me to my apartment in 2018 and I started walking closer and closer with him that is what we're called to do now it is not anything but Jesus Christ the power of the Holy Spirit in the authority of Jesus Christ that we do that there are examples in the Bible. When Paul, Acts 16, when Paul and Silas, it says that they were walking, that they were being followed by a lady, a woman with a soothsayer. That's one form of manifestation. She was following them for many days, it said. These are the servants of the Most High God. They, you know, manifesting that divination spirit. And Paul did cast the demon out of her, and he ended up in jail. But there are times we have an instance, and I wrote it down. And I'm going to read, read my notes. I don't, the Lord just real strong said I needed to do this. It is not uncommon when someone who's demon possessed, who comes into the presence of someone operating in the power of the Holy Ghost and knows their authority and power in Jesus Christ's name, to manifest in that person's presence. It is not uncommon if they can't leave or if, say, for instance, like you're like in outdoors at my apartment complex. You could hear them sometimes. I could not leave. This is my home. 
This was their territory too. In the park, things like that will happen when you have other people. I will be honest. First time it happened, I was like, Jesus Christ, what's going on? You know, what's going on? I, it startled me, but it is something that happens. We have an example in Jesus Christ. Let me finish reading this a little bit. Most times they will either try to get away. The majority of time, if they can get away, they will. A lot of times, though, if they're territorial, when you understand the kingdom of darkness, and I don't understand it all. I just what I've confronted and had to come to learn the knowledge of in the fights and battles I have participated in myself. Territorial demons and spirits, they'll growl at you. But you walk in the power of Jesus Christ's name. You don't have to fear. Now I have learned since then to bind them. Make them be quiet. You didn't always don't do that. We have Jesus Christ as our example. And I'm saying this so if you're out there and you hear somebody growling at you, you're like, what's wrong with them? Understand, the Holy Spirit inside you is disturbing the demon inside that person. Or in that territory. There's territorial demons. That's why you get your random attacks sometimes. And not direct line of fire attacks. One example is in Mark 19. Excuse me. Mark 9. Verse 14 through 29. And the reason he told me this. This is going to show you exactly what I'm saying. Because the Lord showed me this. When I'm like Lord why, why am I being growled at? It's the Holy Spirit in you. And when you live a life that you have the ability and the power to cast out the demons, the authority, knowing, and it's you have that authority, you have that power, but knowing without doubt, without wavering. We're called to do this. The Bible says to do it. Okay, let's do it. That's just the way it is. This is what we're called to do. And if you're not doing it, you need to be. Because this is what we're called to do. Before I do anything like casting out demons, though, I go through right quick and say again, Father God, meaning it. If I've come into any agreement with the kingdom of darkness, known or unknown, anything that you have knowledge of in all your existence and understanding, I break it, I repent, I'm sorry, I renounce them, I shut all doors and lock it in Jesus Christ's name. I don't want nothing to hinder me from doing your work. Mark 9, verse 14. This is where the disciples bring, um, the Father brings the dem- you want me to read it all? They bring the demonic boy, the father does, and the disciples cannot cast them out. Start with 14. And when he came to, and this is the KJV. And when he came to his disciples, he saw a great multitude about them and the scribes questioning with them. And straightway all the people, when they beheld him, were greatly amazed and running to him, saluted him. And he asked the scribes, what question ye with them? And one of the multitude in excuse me, answered and said, Master, I have brought unto thee my son, which had a dumb spirit. And wheresoever he taketh him, he teareth him, and he foameth, and gnashes his teeth, and pineth away. And I spake to thy disciple, thy disciples that they should cast him out, and they could not. I was telling you, this is what's happened in the past. Jesus is Jesus speaking. He answered and said, O faithless generation, how long shall I be with you? How long shall I suffer you? Bring him unto me. And when they brought him, the boy, unto him, and when he saw him, Jesus, straightway the spirit spirit tear him, and he fell on the ground and wallowed foaming. He manifested because of the power of God inside of Jesus Christ. They manifest in many different ways. So if it happens to Jesus Christ, children of God, Don't be surprised if it happens to you. This is our example. And it can manifest in many different ways. And he asked his father, How long is it ago ago, since this came unto him? So it wasn't born with it. The demon possessed him. Or demons. We know there can be more than one because of legion. Excuse me. Excuse me, thank you. And you can look up, do a search, internet search for Legion in the Bible, and you can read that account. 
and oft times it is um, and he said of a child so this boy was demon possessed as a child take notice of that so what are you letting your children's children watch what are you letting them read what are you letting them participate in and he said of a child and oft times i have it hath cast him into the fire and into the waters to destroy him. The demons tried to kill him. But if thou canst do anything, have compassion on us and help us. Jesus said unto him, If thou canst believe, all things are possible to him that believeth. And straightway the father of the child, child. So he's still young. So he was possessed as a child cried out and said with tears, Lord, I believe, help thou mine unbelief. When Jesus saw that the people came running together, he rebuked the foul spirit, saying unto him, Thou dumb and deaf spirit, I charge thee, come out of him and enter no more into him. So not only did he cast the demon out, he commanded him not to come back. When a house is swept and garnished, if you don't fill it with Jesus Christ or something, it's going to bring back seven more. But Jesus commanded it, do not return. That is your authority too. When the Holy Spirit, you do these things as the Holy Spirit leads you. And the Spirit cried and rent him sore and came out of him, and he was as one dead, insomuch that many said he is dead. But Jesus took him by the hand and lifted him up, and he arose. And when he was come into the house, his disciples asked him privately, Why could not we cast him out? And he said unto them, This kind can come forth by nothing but by prayer and fasting. That's taken out of your NIV Bible. So the, the deaf and dumb, the deaf and mute, epileptic, all that kind of things, can only come out through prayer and fasting. I don't understand why, but we have it here. This is the words of Jesus Christ. And we see here an actual manifestation. There's a reason Jesus Christ puts all these things. There's a manifestation in Legion too, but Jesus Christ asked him his name. This one made himself known as soon as he saw Jesus Christ. That's what I'm trying to point out. So if you're a child of God and you have these things happen, understand it is not the devil working in you. It is the power of the Holy Spirit working in you that's causing the enemy to act up, to show himself. And he will do that sometimes to try to disrupt, disrupt a church service. And if you don't have the authority and the power of Jesus Christ to shut it down, it can disrupt a church service or other areas in your life. The power is given to us. The authority is given to us. Are you operating in it? Now, to operate in this power and authority, you have to have a life that lines up with the Word of God, meaning you have to have a life that's holy and pleasing. And that's not impossible. It does not mean you're perfect. It means you are being obedient to as the Holy Spirit leads you to clean yourself out. It means you are being obedient to the best that you're able with the understanding you have. And that you are doing all you know to do with Jesus Christ and Holy Spirit's help. You're not willfully sinning. You're not willfully choosing to be in adultery. You're not willfully choosing to be gossiping. You're not willfully choosing to... What's some, something? Adultery, um, fornication, lying, cheating, killing, stealing from the poor. You are doing all you know to do with Lord Jesus Christ's help. A lot of us are on different levels, but that doesn't mean the battle's any any less. For whatever level you're on, the battle is just as fierce for you as it is for whatever level the other people's on. And I just say, as you grow, you battle harder battles. But even if you're just newly saved and you're starting to battle, fighting the enemy, that battle is just as tough to you at that time of your life as these battles to us, meaning 
It's just as fierce. I guess that's what I should say. And we are all fighting in the name of Jesus Christ with the tools, the weapons, and the understanding we have in whatever level we're at. And I call it level because I don't know how else to say it. We're all the same. We're all part of the body of Christ. So when you have people that don't know the Word of God, I'm just calling it like it is. Lord Jesus, lead me. I'm not trying to offend or hurt anybody. But if you study the Word of God out, and I have studied a lot on demon possession because I have I had been in services before I started casting them out myself. I had been in services and I questioned the Lord, why was it taking hours for deliverance when Jesus Christ didn't do it that way? And, and it's weak faith. That's what I believe it is, my understanding. We know the power is there. When Jesus Christ cast out demons, he cast them out. He didn't take hours. He didn't take multiple times. He used his authority and said, be gone. Get out. Get out. Get out, you know. Now, we say get out in the name of Jesus Christ. We bind them and cast them. Matthew, cast them out. Matthew 16, 19, and also 18, 18. 16, 19 also talks about the keys to the kingdom. But Matthew 18, 18. Whatsoever ye shall bind on earth shall be bound in heaven. Refrain, restrain, restrict. Whatsoever shall loose on earth shall be loosed in heaven. A lot of times when I'm casting out spirits, what I will do afterwards and say, Holy Spirit, please come in with your love or whatever and fill any vacated spots. You need to make sure that person, they accept Jesus Christ and they want rid of those demons. You need to make sure you're being led by the Holy Spirit when you do these things. And if you are not a true child of God and you try to cast somebody Cast a demon out, and you might just be like the sons of Sceva, the seven sons of Sceva, who were trying to cast out demons, or a demon, and the demon said, Paul, I know, Jesus, I know, but who are you? The demons know who you are. The kingdom of darkness, the spirit realm, know who you are in Jesus Christ. That's why they tried to leave. They know who you are. They I don't know how to say it. they know who's got the goods or not. They know who knows how to operate and let the Holy Spirit lead. Yield to the Holy Spirit. Understands the power and authority they've been given through Jesus Christ over the demons, the Nephilim over the kingdom of darkness. We don't boast in that. That's to help bring about the kingdom of God, to set the captives free. We rejoice that our name is written in the books of life, the book of life so that we get to spend our eternity with Jesus Christ instead of an eternal lake of fire. That's where the joy comes. My son and I were talking now, this world is not our home. And he's just like, you know, Mom, it's, it's like we're here, but we're waiting on pickup. <laughs> you know, pick us up, Lord. For those of you, that's he, he's referring to the rapture, even though he knows I'm a witness. But seriously, this world should not be our home. This world is beautiful. God created it, but this world now is corrupt and full of sin. There will be a new heaven and a new earth. This world is not my home it is not i'm just inhabiting it living inside it until the time i get to be with jesus christ and father god and that's how we need to look at it instead of putting down roots into this cursed earth i right, take this to jesus christ in prayer again mark 9 Verse 14 through 29 is where it shows the actual demon manifesting that I that the Lord brought me to. This is the one he brought me to in particular. And then Acts 16 was where the soothsayer, the fortune teller, however you want to say it, working in the spirit of divination. That's a big one. 
with your false prophets and other ones when you start reading because she had gained caused she was she was able through the spear divination for her master so she must have been some kind of slave or something she brought great gain and when Paul cast the demon out set her free they got upset because they can no longer make money from her That's evil. That's the kingdom of darkness. Which kingdom do you want to belong to? The kingdom of light that is love but all power? Or the kingdom of darkness that is hatred and has only the power of deception? In this world, Yes, Lucifer is powerful because he uses deception and manipulation. But who the sun sets free is free indeed. In John 8, 32 and 36, it no longer says that exactly, but that's how I learned to quote it growing up. That's another thing, so just pray about that. Things are changing. All right, take this to Jesus Christ in prayer. I'm not sure why he had me go on this. I have been being led back to this. I'm like, Lord, I don't have anything prepared. He said, I don't want you to have anything prepared. But this is what you're going to do. You're going to go here, and you're going to go talk about here. I said, yes, sir. Be instant in season and out. All right. If you, oh, excuse me, sorry. If you don't know Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior, now is the time. I know the word I gave is a hard one. But when we see all these things coming, children of God, look up. Our hope is in Jesus Christ. The worst thing that could happen to us is we could perish. And our eternity is still with Jesus Christ. If you're worried about your family being left behind or that, then you're not placing them in the care of Jesus Christ. You're supposed to trust him for everything. Pray about it. Leave it there. Leave it at, at the altar. Leave it at the foot of the cross. He's heard your prayer. He heard your prayer the first time. He knows what you pray. And he's already working on it. Because he loves his children. All right. Again, if you don't know Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior, now's the time. I ask you to, if you're not ready to make that choice, make it quickly. Holy Spirit is still drawing, sweet, sweet Holy Spirit. And as long as he's drawing and you still feel that, that when, even though I was five, excuse me, my hair keeps touching. Even when I was five, I had this beating in my chest when I went up to the altar because I knew I needed a Savior. I knew I needed to repent. I knew I needed forgiveness, didn't understand it all, but I knew I understand it because of the calling of my life now. But So that's why I say if, it's, if you feel that beating in your heart or the drawing or, or the knowing that you've got to change your life, and a lot of you, you've tried everything and you're afraid to try Jesus Christ because if it doesn't work, there's nothing left. If it doesn't work, it's because you walked away. Jesus Christ never will. Father God, Jesus Christ will never leave you. I will never leave you nor forsake you, but go with you all the way, he says in Hebrews. Apologize, I don't remember exactly the, the verse location. Again, you can do an internet search. If you'd like to accept Jesus Christ into your heart, please say this prayer with me and know that it's nothing. You don't earn your way. Jesus Christ has done everything. It is by grace through faith that you're saved. Please say this prayer with me. Jesus Christ, I ask you come into my heart. Forgive me of all my sins and wash me clean. I believe and confess you are the Son of God, that you rose again on the third day after giving your life on Calvary so I could be free. Wash me clean with your precious blood and change my life. I confess you here now as my Lord 
and my Savior before God and man in Jesus Christ's name. Amen. Hallelujah. And I recommend, praise the Lord, that you get a Bible. This is the JKV. Uh, but ask the Lord to lead you to which translation because the Holy Spirit, our teacher, according to John 14, 26, will teach us the truth of this word. But from heaven, he'll pull down the truth from heaven. All right, this is a My Lovely Jesus ministry. Remember to pray for one another. Forgive. Forgive all. Don't let anything cause bitterness. That's a tool of the enemy. It's a device. Don't let people's, people's wicked, evil words dissuade you in any way. Children of God, step out and do what you're called to do. That should be just a sign to you. You're on the right track. Because if the enemy's not fighting you, he's already got you. All right, God bless. Stay under the blood of Jesus Christ always. And remember, surely he's coming quickly. And yes, in the rapture. Bye-bye.